the global supply of fresh water, it's a crisis. It is literally a crisis and nobody is aware of it. But you look at the lists of the top 10 cities that are at risk of drought and a risk of running out of water in the next 10 years, almost all of them are big developed countries. London is on that top 10 list. Extraordinary, it blows my mind. And you know, the, the famous statistics from the UN that by 2030, nearly half of the world's population won't have a reliable access to a clean water source. Just, you know, I've said it so many times, it almost doesn't feel real anymore, but just, just sit with it, half of the world, half. And so oft, more often than not, it's, it's, you know, women at the forefront are facing these challenges as well. Here at Solanator, we are developing a solar powered desalination technology. So in super simple terms, desalination is taking seawater and making that seawater drinkable and turning it into fresh water. Problems with current desalination technologies are two main problems, very energy intensive and the brine that they produce, the waste product is full of really nasty chemicals. And quite often that just gets dumped back in the sea and it can cause damage to marine life. So at the Solanator, we're trying to tackle those two problems by developing our technology. So firstly, the energy intensiveness of desalination. So we have our own custom designed solar panels, which produce both electricity and heat water at the same time. So as I'm sure you know, two main branches of ordinary solar panels. So photovoltaic, which is, I've got one right here. <laughs> the sun shines on it um, produces an electric current. The other main type of solar panels is solar thermal. And these are much cheaper, you know, places like Cyprus, it's been government mandates since the sixties that every roof should have a solar thermal panel on it. So that's essentially at its simplest, a black box that water runs through and it heats up water. So PVT, photovoltaic thermal, you combine the photovoltaic and the thermal element of the solar panels. So we're not the first people to come up with this PVT idea, but we are the first people to be using it for the specific purpose of thermal desalination. So a little bit more about why these PVT panels are beneficial. So your average solar panel is roughly 15% efficient at converting the incident solar energy into electricity. And the rest of that 85% of solar energy is wasted as low grade heat. So ordinarily that low grade heat is just lost. Um, but if you can trickle a, a slow stream of water underneath your solar panels, you can absorb lots of that waste energy and by using it to heat up the water. And if you have a purpose for hot water, then that energy is really useful. So we have developed our own solar uh, PVT, photovoltaic thermal panels, 